Welcome back to another episode of Fortnite Tales. I'm Timo Lindell here, and we're playing Fortnite. We're telling stories. Today we're going to finish up our discussion of early colonial Maryland. In the last episode, we talked about how challenging life was in Maryland. The average life expectancy was fairly low for all the colonies. If that wasn't challenging enough, life was going to get a lot worse in Maryland with the beginning of the English Civil War. There was a gentleman in England called Richard Ingle. He came from a Protestant family. He was a trader, a ship captain. He transported goods between colonial Maryland and England. Well, when the English Civil War broke out in 1644, it pitted the Puritans against the Royalists of King Charles I. Well, Ingle, being a good Protestant, sided with the Parliamentarians, and by 1645, he sailed to Maryland in a ship called the Reformation. He was supposed to trade, but realistically, he had an agenda to overthrow the government of Lord Baltimore, who was a known Catholic at the time. And so he sailed over to the New World in hopes to overthrow the government. Okay, we're lining up our final approach here. There's a chest right here. We got a shotgun. Oh, I got that quest done. First person to open a chest in a match. Interesting. Okay, we got this. You know what I'm going to do with this? I'm just going to throw this down right here in the middle. And then we're going to go into this house. See what's in here. I got a decent shotgun to start with. Let's go. I got good SMG. There are no chests here, though, are there? Okay, so we're going to have to go to a different house for the chests. SMG. Did no one land here? Like, that door being open makes me think someone landed here, but no, it's this person right here. Hello. You give me a pumpkin launcher? I don't, I don't want a pumpkin launcher. Thank you, though. Oh, is this a spe- Ooh! Epic chest! You gotta be kidding me. I got another pumpkin launcher. This is probably gonna get me killed, but hey, it's an epic pumpkin launcher. Let's see what we can do with it. Generally, pumpkin launchers are just a good way for me to die. Let's go see if anybody came over to Breakwater then. When Richard Engel arrived in Maryland in February of 1645, he quickly gained support of many Protestant settlers. Uh, one of note is William Claiborne, who was in a property dispute with uh, Lord Baltimore. And they gathered quickly, formed an alliance with the uh, Susquehannock Indians, uh, traditional enemies of the Maryland colony. And they assaulted the capital of St. Mary's in March. They imprisoned the governor, William Stone, and other Catholic leaders of the time, they um, they were quite harsh. They, like I said, they imprisoned the leaders. They executed some of their enemies. They levied heavy taxes against the people. They banned Catholicism. Uh, they took the land of the Catholics. They forced many of the Catholics to flee the country. They were very much a religious dictatorship against Catholicism. Oh, somebody's here. Okay. Somebody was here. And interesting. They got candy. Trucks. Go ahead and eat one of those. I still have not found an SMG or an AR. I would much rather have an AR. Steak weapon. Let's go ahead and um, we go ahead and throw down a turret here. I got another turret. We can throw another one down. Okay, you only have one turret at a time. That's okay. Go ahead and grab ourselves some more candy, since it's the Halloween season. 
And we're just gonna chill here and uh, go ahead and see what we get out of this. Capture point. Sometimes the capture points are really good, sometimes they're really bad. Generally, I never drop good weapons, which is always disappointing. I'm a big fan of that infiltrator pump. What are you gonna give me, oh gods of Fortnite? Blue weapons. Havoc. Okay. Okay, that, that's not what I asked for. <laughs> but hey, we got good mats out of it. That's one thing you do get out of it. That's good mats. I really need, like, a broom. Some form of uh, movement here. I don't really like the ramrod, but I do like the brooms. So we're in the circle, so I'm going to, like, chill here at Breakwater. I mean, we got a turret down, so we can just kind of wander around here, and if anybody wants to come in, maybe we'll, like, hear about it. Yes, I have claimed Breakwater. Thank you. But we'll just kind of loot here and uh, continue our continue our conversations. These new leaders of Maryland were very harsh. They pretty much outlawed any vices and sins that you could think. And as such, they began to, after about a year or two of this, there was some resistance to it, and what was remaining of the Maryland militia, with some help from the Virginia militia, were able to, in the Battle of Severn, defeat the new forces and, by 1646, reclaim the capital and reinstate Lord Baltimore as the rightful ruler by 1647. Okay, we got game time. Hmm. Do I use it now, or do I wait? Let's think about this for a second. Is somebody fighting here? Let's go see if we can get involved in this fight. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this slap here. Let's get moving. Maybe we can get a better AR out of all this. Because right now we don't have a gun <laughs> that can shoot range. And yeah, we lost our one turret, that's okay. Come on, let's see if we can get involved here. Is that an AR? Okay, I'm gonna grab the AR. I think that's gonna be a better weapon. For my long-term stability. I probably should have kept the pumpkin launcher instead of the uh, these things. Oh wow, good fight here. Okay! And third party for the win. They've got to be bitter. And I, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to blame them for being mad about that. I pretty much came in and and, and wrecked them. And I, I feel bad. <laughs> I do. But that's the, that's the challenge you have in this game is like third parties. You cannot allow, especially in a solo match, you can't allow... Oh, I'm going to take that. You can't let the battles go on very long or it just becomes kind of this thing. That becomes really difficult. And I ended up with max mats on oven. You know what? I'm going to come back and grab the pumpkin launcher. I know I'm going to regret that, but until I find like some, like a broom or something that I can use to get around, that's probably going to be better than the turrets. I mean, the turrets aren't bad, don't get me wrong. But, let's see if I can get this before. Where'd I drop that? Right here. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab that. It's an epic one. Okay, we got pizza to go. So we got heals in our thing, which is good. Good. Now we just kind of come over here and uh, and chill and see what we can uh, see where the next storm takes us. Okay, back to our story. With the Maryland government back intact, it took the colony years to recover from the damage created by England compatriots. They uh, the religious turmoil between the Protestants and Catholics in the colony continued to boil. And it boiled all the way through the 1650s when in the late 1650s the forces of kind of toleration between the two religions won the battle and they passed Maryland's Toleration Act, which made it an offense to use hostile language about the religions of others. You know, it wasn't absolute because you could be penalized for denying Christ your savior, you know, the trinity, the existence of God. So we couldn't have atheists and Jews, but this was a step forward. Oh. 
The storm circle is not too bad. We can just come over here. Man, we're not very we're not in good position to get like this cash at all. Cause we have to go through this, which would be a nightmare. That might be maybe a destination if someone doesn't get that later. Because we're gonna have to come in this this side back here anyway. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get inside the circle here. Um I don't know how many players are gonna be over this way, but we'll see. Let's check it out. As I was saying about the Toleration Act, it was a big step forward. It was a big deal at the time. It was, I mean, extraordinary when you think about it, because now Christians within the colony could practice their religion without molestation. Yeah, we, you know, Jews and atheists would still be kind of banned, but there really weren't a lot of those in the colonial times, but there were all these various factions of Christianity, and now they could all live and, and, and mingle with each other without fear of being terrorized for what they believe. And like I said, at the time, that was quite extraordinary. I mean, we have wars fought in, in Europe over religious issues. All these things are going on, but yet here in America, we begin to see this co-mingling of religions, something that would help would be a big part of the American government that would be formed 100 years later. And the Toleration Act proved to be hugely beneficial to the colony itself because soon after it passed in the early 1660s, the reestablishment of the king and royal authority brought about the dominance of the Church of England as a religion. And as such, they passed what they what became known as the Clarendon Code, which was a series of four laws that they used to pretty much make the Church of England the de facto religion in England. In 1661, they had the Corporation Acts. This law required all municipal officials to take an oath of allegiance to the king and the Church of England. Uh, the Act of Uniformity in 1662, which required all clergymen to use the Book of Common Prayer which was the official liturgy of the Church of England. <laughs> the Conventinical Act of 1664, which prohibited religious meetings of more than five people outside of a church. That became kind of problem to, <laughs> to hold services. And then there was the Five Mile Act in 1665, which prohibited nonconformist ministers from coming within five miles of a corporate town. It's kind of hard to start a religion when you cannot go into a town. <laughs> Okay, we got, what do we got in our menu here? Our cash is right over here on the edge. I'm going to make a beeline for our cash. Let's we'll see if we can get there. So let's make our way down. We'll head on down, down, down. Let's go into the jungle, see what the jungle provides us as we head over to our cash. We get good coverage down here in this... Uh, in this area, there's a fight going on up here. I guess we may end up in it. I'm okay with that. Still a lot of people left. So fighting here is not always a bad option. Especially if I can third party it. And there's the person who died. What is going on? Oh, there they are. Come on. Whoa, there's somebody here. Dead. Where's the other kid go? Died. Who's shooting at me? Well, that was unfortunate. Um, dead. Okay. Somebody else is here fighting at me? 
Or is that just... Okay, I think that's just... I'm not gonna get my cash. That is disappointing to say the least. You know, where's my cash at anyway? Upset Pova? You know, I might sit in storm just to get it. Are you kidding me? Where'd he go? Did you have something heals wise? No. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start this cache. And then I'm gonna get out of in this circle here. And then we will wait for that to come back. That was really chaotic. I do have the pizza party though. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my pizza party. It's a good time to use my pizza. Um What's going on here? We pick this up. Let's throw this down. Let's pick these up. Let's throw these down. Full health. And then we'll take slices. Okay. Okay, I did not play. Um, so do I want? I'm going to. Let's see what this drops. There's a slurp. It's probably better shotgun. I'll grab the shotgun. I'm going to grab the slurp. We will leave the. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to get going. Hopefully, not take too much damage in this process. Okay, we're out. We're running. We're sprinting. Hopefully, no one will shoot us here. We got ice. I got. And kind of just keep rolling through here. So I got heals. I do not have mobility. Which sucks. That's probably going to get me killed in this final battle. It would be really nice if I could like... Move somewhere, but we're in the circle. And... We got some cover. I'm at max mats again, so I'm, I'm pretty good on mats. Let's go ahead and see what our other... Um, Let's go ahead and re-roll. Um, we'll go ahead and medium ammo. And uh, we'll go ahead and make the first shotgun. And then the last one, Mud Warrior. We will not have any. I'll go ahead, it doesn't really matter. Okay. There's some slurps there. I got plenty of ammo. I'm actually in the circle for the next round. Seven players left. This is where things kind of get a little crazy. So I am just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and chill for a second. As I was saying, the Clarendon Code was pretty much a banning of everything outside of the Church of England. As such, you began to see a rush of religious refugees from England. Anybody who was not part of the Church of England needed some place to go. And Maryland, with their Toleration Act, the idea of you know the ability to practice your religion without worry was a big pull you had within the colonies themselves the quakers who were kind of an outcast in new england and such they made their way into maryland they returned the dutch and german dissenters as well there was a they came over to maryland as well in 1660 the population of maryland was 2500 i mean that's how it, pirate could come and pretty much take over the government and stuff. But by the 1680, the population was 27,000. That is a tremendous amount of growth in just 20 years. And all of that was due to the Toleration Act. Okay, there's a kid out here. We're in the final five. We're in a pretty good shape in this final circle. He's coming over here. I gotta shoot him. Oh, he had really good weapons. There's three people left. No, I do not need to be there. That hurt. That hurt a lot. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab these splashes over here. Okay. I'm not gonna go get those weapons. We're not we're in actually pretty good shape. There's three people left though. I do not see any of them. I'm not in a great space and I do not have good mobility. Which is not good. But we're, you know, three left. We're gonna have to move here though. I need to get to that high ground up there. And hope no one's up here. This is the spot, this is the play, if I can get up here. Oh, it's like me and one other person. Is that him right there in that box? It's to come out. It is. Yeah, that's him up there. He's probably got some kind of mobility. Yep. Oh, really? Let's go! Let's go! The downside to the mobility. GG, dude, man. Good game. GG. Wow. Let's go. We got ourselves a victory royale. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Man, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And as always, have a great day if you want to.